from this. Yeah. And looking ahead to Paris, how confident are you going, at, you know, looking for the double again, uh, you know, and to be a major contender again? I'm definitely confident, not super, not over, but confident. To this. Now it remains to be seen whether five-time Olympic champion Elaine Thompson Hero will attempt to defend her sprint titles at the Olympic Games in Paris this summer after picking up a suspected injury at the New York Grand Prix on a Sunday. And then this. That five-time Olympic champion Elaine Thompson Hero withdrew from the trials due to a recurring Achilles injury, meaning she will not get the opportunity to defend any of her titles in Paris this August. She it's always a sad day to hear about an athlete suffering from an injury. It's probably safe to assume that even Elaine's competitors felt bad about the news, instead of rejoicing about the fact that they wouldn't have to run against the Jamaican champion. An injury is, literally and figuratively, a sore spot for all athletes. So about that. Just in case you missed it, Yes, five-time Olympic gold medalist Elaine Thompson Hera will miss Paris 2024 due to an Achilles injury, as she announced on social media. The Jamaican sprinter, who is the two-time defending Olympic champion in both the 100-meter and 200-meter races, took to Instagram to share the sad news. I am hurt and devastated to be missing the Olympic this year, but at the end of the day, it's sports, and my health comes first, she wrote. To no surprise, both her fans and fellow athletes showed empathy, words of comfort, and well wishes as they all prayed for a quick recovery. As retired American track and field athlete Allison Felix put it, Olympic champions and or world champions like Veronica Campbell Brown, Abby Steiner, and Trayvon Bromel are among those who left a message of support. As many of you would remember, Elaine had a late start to the season it was a highly anticipated race for various reasons. One and very obvious, of course, is because fans always love seeing her compete. She's a champion after all. And two, she was set to go head to head against reigning 100 meter world champion Shakari Richardson and on the Americans home turf, no less. It was the first time since last September's Diamond League final, which coincidentally was also held in Eugene that Thompson, Hera, and Richardson competed against each other in the 100 meter. Long story short, it was at the Prefontaine Classic stop in Eugene that Thompson, Hera, made her highly anticipated season debut in the 100 meter. Notably, besides it being her late start to the Olympic year, her return to the Prefontaine Classic also holds special significance. For context, it was at this very meet, but in August 2021, where she clocked a blistering 10.54 seconds in the 100 meter. It was a performance that solidified her status as the fastest woman alive. Mind you, only Florence Griffith Joyner's legendary world record of 10.49 seconds stands ahead of her on the all-time list. Meanwhile, this year's Prefontaine Classic saw Thompson Hera and Richardson, two of the most electrifying sprinters in the world, go head to head. Unsurprisingly, the race had been eagerly awaited by athletics fans worldwide, as it brought together the fierce competition and star power of two dominant figures in women's sprinting. There, Richardson cruised to a smooth victory, as she once again reminded the world that she was the fastest woman on the planet by blazing to victory in 10.83 seconds. Thompson Hurrah, on the other hand, finished ninth in the 100 meter at the Eugene Diamond League. The Olympic champion was, however, unbothered by her poor start to the season after the disappointing outing. Despite clocking 11.30 for ninth place, the Jamaican remained confident of getting better as she eyes her Olympics title defense. It was, after all, her first race of the season. As she wrote in an Instagram post, the journey of a thousand miles begins with the first step. Then, in a tweet, she uploaded a photo of her at the event, with the caption, A bird doesn't sing because it has an answer. It sings because it has a song. Maya Angelou. She also shared the same post on her Instagram. It is no secret that she, the second fastest woman in history, had been hoping to compete at her third Olympics overall, having also won gold in the 4x100 meter relay in Tokyo, an upgrade from silver at Rio 2016. However, less than 50 days before the Paris Games, 
the Jamaican five-time Olympic champion appeared to sustain an injury during the 100 meters at the NYC Grand Prix. In early June, the 100 and 200 meter defending Olympic champion removed her right shoe and sat down on the track after finishing last in 11.48 seconds, though the nature of her injury was not immediately clear. Images posted on social media showed Thompson Hera being carried from the track. A video was shared on X, which was uploaded by sports journalist and commentator Ben Steiner. He wrote, Heartbreaking scenes in New York for Jamaican star Elaine Thompson Hera. She had to be carried off the track after seemingly injuring her Achilles while running the 100 meter. She was limping right after the finish line and quickly took off her shoe. About an hour after the race, Elaine took to Instagram to say, I am awaiting professional advice moving forward. She also explained that she felt something uncomfortable as she began to push, further stating that she still tried to go, but it only got worse. Her next Instagram post was not any better. It's never fun sharing news like this, she wrote, as she explained what happened at the Icon Stadium in New York. She admitted that she felt something during the race, but still insisted on pushing. However, she was only a couple of steps away from the finish line when she realized that something was really wrong. I sat on the ground because I couldn't apply any pressure to the leg whatsoever as I was carried off the track. I went quickly to get some medical checkup and to find out that I have a small tear on my Achilles tendon. Despite this, she was determined to keep pushing and prepare for the national trials in order to get another shot at her third Olympics. But the leg wouldn't allow me to, she wrote. Thompson Hurrah, the only sprinter other than compatriot Usain Bolt to win multiple Olympic titles in both the 100 meter and 200 meter, was aiming to defend her 100 meter crown after choosing not to race in the Jamaica 200 meter trials. Yes, you heard that right. She initially announced her decision not to race over the distance at the then upcoming Jamaican trials, but declared her intent to still compete in the 100 meter. A week later, however, she was forced to withdraw from the Jamaican track and field trials. This meant that the five-time Olympic champion could not defend her 100 and 200 meter titles at the Olympic Games in Paris scheduled for the year 2024. The Achilles tendon injury has weighed her down since Rio 2016. She missed out on a medal at the 2017 and 2019 World Championships, but made the podium in the 4x100 meter relay and the 100 meter in Eugene in 2022. It is worth noting though that Thompson Hera became the first woman to win back-to-back -back sprint doubles at the Olympics. She accomplished the Olympic sprint double by winning the 100 and 200 at both the Rio de Janeiro and Tokyo Games. Her personal best in the 100 of 10.54 is the second fastest time in history, while her personal record in the 200 is 21.53, which is the third fastest time ever. She's good, yes, but she's no stranger to an injury. What's actually sad is the fact that she made the announcement of her withdrawal via Instagram shortly before her birthday. Not the birthday gift I was hoping for, but God, whatever you have in store for me, I will wait, and I will still continue to work towards my goals that I haven't achieved yet. Well, it's a good thing that she remains optimistic, despite this small hiccup in her plans. It's a long road, but I am willing to start over and keep working, and to make full recovery and resume my track career. She wrote before saying, I will be back. Guess who's going to Paris? Watch this to find out.